Hey guys, it's Ellie. In this video, I'll be showing you five ideas for a DIY movie night party. So let's get into it. The first idea is this DIY popcorn bar. So in a pan on medium high heat, add in some oil so it covers the bottom of the pan about a tablespoon. Put in three kernels and add the top of the pan. When you hear one pop, pour in a third cup of popcorn, put it on the top and start shaking the pan so none of the popcorn will burn. And when the popping slows down, turn off the heat and dump your popcorn into a bowl. You can now add some salt and butter if you'd like. Next, take small bowls and lay them next to the popcorn, one bowl for each topping. Now go ahead and add whatever toppings you'd like into the bowls. I added Sour Patch Kids, M&Ms, chocolate chips, and jelly beans. Add in some spoons to each bowl and lay larger bowls next to it to eat out of, and there you have it. You can customize this any way you'd like, such as doing a particular theme or only chocolate items, or you can do sweet and salty, whatever you'd like. So whenever your party guest or just yourself gets hungry, go ahead and grab your bowl, add in some popcorn, and go crazy with whatever toppings you'd like. This is so delicious and looks super cute, and this is a perfect movie night snack. The next idea is this DIY marquee sign. Start off with some recycled boxes and cut the cardboard so you can make your letter or symbol. Using a ruler, I measured two and a half inches long for my letter E. Then I measured two and a half inches from the left side and drew a vertical line. I then drew lines for the four points I measured earlier. Now you can go ahead and grab a pair of scissors and cut out your letter. You can also use an X-Acto knife if you prefer that. Once your letter's all cut out, you should take another piece of cardboard and cut that into smaller pieces for the sides of your letter. Now take some strong tape, I just use masking tape, and attach the pieces of cardboard to the sides of your letter on both the front and back. In order to make the sides stand up, just fold the cardboard down on the front and it should stand up by itself. So go ahead and repeat that all around the border of your letter. Make sure to tape all the edges together so it will connect and it's nice and sturdy. You can also glue on the sides, but I think taping is much, much easier. Also, if you want, you can make multiple signs to spell out a word, such as movie, or do a symbol like an arrow or a heart, but I did an E for the first letter of my name. Anyway, so once you have finished covering the entire perimeter of your letter, you can take some paint, I used gold spray paint, and cover all the sides and the front of your letter. You can also paint the back, but I chose not to since you can't see it. You also don't have to cover the bottom since it stands up, but I did anyway. So once your paint is dry, you should mark all the places where you want to put the lights through. You can use a ruler to make sure they're spaced out evenly if you'd like. To mark it, I just dented the cardboard with a screwdriver, which I know is weird, so you can just use a pencil or poke a hole through using a pin. Now take some lights, you can use Christmas lights like I did, or a battery powered light, whatever you'd like, and poke the lights through the cardboard where you marked. I just pushed my lights through, but you can also make holes using a tool and slide in all the lights. Once you added in all the lights, you can turn them on and there you have it, your very own movie theater style sign. This is so cute, I really love the way it turned out. Next, I'll be showing you how to make these adorable Walk of Fame invitations. Start off with a pink piece of paper and draw on a star. If you'd like, you can fold the paper in half where you drew your star to make sure it's symmetrical and cut out your star. Now go ahead and unfold your paper. Next, taking some black paper, I used glitter paper because it looks so much cuter, and lay your star on top and cut a square around it. Next, on your star, write the name of whoever the invitation is for in capital letters. Go over that in a black or gold pen. Next, take some yellow paper and cut out a very small circle. I trace the bottom of a marker to get my shape. Glue your circle onto the bottom of your star and the star onto the black paper. Now you can draw a symbol from the Walk of Fame onto the yellow circle, or you can just draw a star like I did. On the back of the invitation, you can write anything you'd like, but I put, you're invited to a pop secret movie night. 
All right, so there you have it. A super cute imitation that's perfect for the theme of your party. If you want, instead of the regular pink paper, you could use glitter paper, just like you did for the black paper. Now a movie night would not be complete without a super comfy place to sit. So what you want to do is go around your house and grab a bunch of cushions, pillows, and blankets and arrange them into the perfect seating area. Now grab your laptop or set up your TV and relax. This makes your movie night so much more enjoyable and if you want you can even set up a comfy area outside and have a backyard movie night. So I watched The Holiday, which is such a good movie by the way, you should definitely watch it if you haven't already. Also comment down below what your favorite movie is, because maybe I haven't seen it and I can watch it. My favorite's Catching Fire, I've seen it like a million times, but I love all the Hunger Games movies. Lastly, I'll be showing you how to make your own kettle corn in the microwave. In a small bowl, add in 2 teaspoons of oil and 1 tablespoon of sugar and mix that together. Next, add a quarter cup of popcorn kernels and stir that all together, making sure the sugar and oils covers the kernels. You can also add some salt if you like a sweet and salty flavor. Dump your mixture into a paper bag and fold that down, and you can staple it if you'd like, but I didn't. Make sure to put the paper bag onto a microwave safe plate or else your microwave will be an oily mess. Pop that into a microwave, I put it in for 2.5 minutes but took it out around 2 minutes and 15 seconds. Cooking times will vary, so take it out when the popping slows down or else it will burn. Now you can take out your popcorn, but be careful, the plate is hot. Now open up your bag, I just ripped it open, dump it into a bowl, and voila, delicious kettle corn. Now a lot of the oil and sugar comes off onto the bag and plate, so you can add a bit more sugar for more flavor if you'd like. But seriously guys, this is so good and really does taste like kettle corn, and it just takes a few minutes to make. Alright, so that's the end of my video. Please subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and comment down below what your favorite movie is. Alright guys, I'll talk to you next time. Bye!